Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. It's been about 30 days now of using the Xtool D1 10 watt laser engraver. And so I thought it was the perfect time for us to sit down and do a quick review on the performance of the laser itself now. A little background on me before we get started. Um, so by day, I still am a electrical and software engineer. So I do have some knowledge in the background of using the software for using this laser. But that at this point has been irrelevant to how simple the software is that comes with the Xtool D1. So if you have no computer experience before or no CAD experience, don't worry, you can still easily do all the projects that we're gonna go over today. So let's hop into it and see what we've been making for the past 30 days. The first thing that we printed off was this heart-shaped coaster. A little custom engraving of I love you and then a nice simple heart that was cut out. Uh, this took less than seven minutes to make. Uh, it's unfinished still. It was just a quick test cut to see how the laser would do. And I think it turned out quite wonderful. It was a, a very easy cut, very quick, and you could print these out like crazy and be selling them if you wanted to as a small business. After that, I did move on to a actual size coaster. So we can see here that the, the coaster is four inch by four inch. Again, this one's a little more finished, actually has a, a resin on top to stop it from getting water damage. Uh, only thing that's missing is a cork back and that can be sold as a pack of four, no problem. Again, very simple cut, very clean lines. Uh, the lettering came out like, just perfect. It was a, a very nice, easy cut in this material. After that, I wanted to move on to doing a bit more of a deeper engrave and kind of almost like a, a cut into some thicker wood, but not cutting all the way through. So we tried making another custom piece here. This one's not fully finished. Um, I want to also paint this and have it look a little bit different. So what we did was layered it with tape first and then cut through the tape and into the wood. You can get a pretty good image here. You can tell it's very clean cut. Uh, and now when we go to paint it, all I will have to do is peel away the tape for the areas that I want to paint first, hit it with the airbrush, and then we'll be able to let it dry and keep removing the layers as we go, painting it different colors. Uh, I also looked at doing some tile work. We've seen other tile work in other YouTube videos, so I wanted to give it a shot myself. And so here is a, a quick little uh, Toronto Blue Jays logo that I put on for my own little uh, bar downstairs. Again, this turned out quite wonderful. This was the first draft of the one I cut. Uh, the second one is actually hanging on my bar right now because it turned out a little bit better. I made I cut this one quickly with the settings turned up so it would just cut fast so I could see what it looked like. And even with the, the faster cutting speed and the fewer lines per centimeter, it still looks wonderful. Um, so I keep this one out in the shop now just as a, a little showpiece for myself out here. And again, there's no errors in this X tool. It's been super precise. Um, so once I was cutting through these, I wanted to see, okay, let's start cutting on some bigger projects. So we moved on to doing some stenciling. So I stenciled out uh, an image of a deer and then we made this silhouette deer, just paint it black. Again, looks great. Uh, a very simple gift for someone. If you want to make a gift that was unique to someone in your life. Uh, I made this one specifically for my mom. Uh, she loves deer. So I think this, this turned out great. Uh, the material I was using, you can see down here on the legs, that it frayed a little bit. It didn't quite cut all the way through. I did two passes on this one, and it just wasn't quite enough to get through. Uh, speed might have been a little bit fast as well. And this took probably 20 minutes, so it wasn't super long. I could have definitely slowed it down and cut through better. But I do want to see when we start using the air assist, if it starts coming out any better and getting a, a nice clean cut. But overall, again, Still looks great. The details are very fine. There's no errors here. It's just a wonderful little piece for less than 20 minutes. Uh, and then I start to get into something that's a little bit more on the retail side for what you could sell. And we put together this bear. So the bear has a lot of fine details in it. You can take a look and just see that all the tree branches, some of the smaller grooves down low, um, everything's been cut out super precise. Uh, we have the stars that are very sharp. This one did cut all the way through on the first go, or on the second go, sorry, it's two passes. And there was no issue popping out the centerpiece. Um, I do have an example of our centerpiece over here. So this was the piece that popped out. And there was no issue getting this to come out. All those small little grooves and everything had no issue just falling out of those slots. So very good on the cutting power there. And doing two traces over this 
There was no misalignment with the trace. It was right back on the exact same line it was the first time. Uh, I do make sure not to bump the table at all while it's doing a cut because we don't want it to miss that second trace, but very precision cut, very nice. Uh, so these are great. I can cut these out in less than 20 minutes again, super quick. I mean, this takes probably less than an hour fully to get the, the blank up and then get it cut, get it painted, and you have it dried and ready to go. Very fast project to get done. And then we moved into some larger signs. Probably what most of you guys would be interested in is can I make some like larger, bigger signs here? So we have this one, put it down for the camera. Um, again, this is pretty simple. This was a, a one inch thick uh, pine board, pre-painted uh, pre white, and then we etched off the, the pink paint to expose the lettering. Uh, it turned out quite well. I mean, the board itself was not the greatest condition board. I definitely could have bought a better, more appearance type board. Uh, but this is just what I had laying around to do a test trial for these signs, and I think it turned out actually quite great. I mean, it looks amazing. It's something that I would hang up out in our front yard for our, uh, our beach days. And so, again, this took a little bit longer. This one took about an hour to print out. It is a lot bigger, though. It is 16 inches by 10 inches, so it's a little bit on the larger side, and the laser had no problem engraving its way through. Although it does, when you're etching through paint, give off quite a distinct smell. It's not the uh, the greatest fume to be inhaling, so I would suggest that you either have some way of exhausting it or don't be directly next to the laser while you're etching away paint because it just doesn't smell great. And then finally, we moved on to our new products that we are actually starting to produce and sell to uh, our client base here up in Ottawa, and that would be this deer. Now these are layered images, so they look pretty good. Uh, you can see that this one here is a three layer image. So we have our background of the actual deer, similar to the deer I showed before, um, pretty much the exact same deer, just flipped. And then we have the first layer, which shows a bit of a rocky mountain. And then we have our tree layer, it has all the trees cut up. Again, we have very fine details everywhere. All the antlers and everything are well cut. The feet, even down to the toe, where we have the deer's hoof little marks in here, little indents, everything was cut perfectly. Um, one thing I've started to notice when cutting out multiple layers of these after you're doing many, many passes is the laser is getting dirty quite quickly. And when the, uh, the sut from this material bounces back up onto the laser, you definitely lose your cutting power quickly. So you have to stop and clean it often. Um, again, I'm hoping that the air assist, once we get that in and we try cutting with the air assist, that's going to really clean it up and keep the laser clean so we don't have to do so much maintenance. But Right now, um, when you're doing a lot of cutting, especially back to back to back, there's a lot of cleaning you have to do in between every second or third cut just to make sure that you're still getting that penetrating beam all the way through your material and that it's able to continue to cut for you. Otherwise, cutting out these details becomes very difficult to pop them out. I have broken a few trying to pop out some of those pieces that have been cut and they, uh, yeah, it just goes south if they don't cut all the way through. You wanna make sure you're getting a nice clean cut all the way through. And here's our showpiece now, currently, um, definitely our most popular selling piece is our multi-layer fishing sign. So this is a, a massive 16 and a half inch by I think 10 or 11 inch fish. Um, just again, a great fish to be looking at. We have multiple layers here, a lot of colors, a lot of things going on. Uh, it has a nice weight and it just it comes together so quickly. This one is five layers. Uh, there is, I have a six layer version as well, adds a little bit more detail to it. Um, again, they're very easy to make. They, they do take some time. Each one of these cuts I think is probably 30 minutes and I can't seem to speed that up right now just with the, the 10 watt laser and this material. If I go any faster, it, it doesn't cut all the way through or I have to do multiple passes. Uh, most of these I am doing two passes just to get that nice clean edge. And again, if that air assist makes any difference, we'll definitely reduce our time here and that'll be great. But so far, these are the majority of the pieces that we've been making over the past few weeks. Um, and I've experienced really no issues with the X-Tool D1 10 watt laser. It has been a, a perfect laser. It's been cutting through. It's been going almost nonstop. Every time I have a chance to come out and cut something, we're out here, we're running new things through it. Uh, we've also made some additional trophies and plaques for other people. Uh, those I can't show you because we have already given them away. But we did make a, a handful of plaques. They turned out looking pretty great. They were custom for a, a company that wanted to have some logos on them. Uh, we've done some trophies with some names and the, the tournament that was in engraved onto them. Again, they were stock trophies. We just bought them and then were able to engrave onto them. But 
very easy projects that can turn around and sell quickly. Uh, great product so far. I have nothing really bad to say with the, the XTool D1, other than on certain materials, you're going to have to clean it more often. But I think that would be true for any laser. I mean, you want to make sure you're keeping that lens clean so that you're getting your full performance. You don't want that to get clogged up. Uh, other than that, there's been really no issues. Uh, the software that it came with, the Laser Basic, LaserBox Basic, it's been flawless. I haven't even bothered to use Lightburn yet. I've been just running all these through the free software so far. Now, we do plan to move to Lightburn just to do a comparison video on what new features you can get. Um, I believe LaserBox does limit how fast you can go, but I haven't had an issue with the max speed they provide just because most of the cuts that I've been doing, I'm doing them relatively slow anyway, so I don't need to go the extra speed. Although the extra speed sounds nice, unless you're just doing a very light, light engraving on the surface, um, most of the time you're not going the max speed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And so other than that, uh, yeah, it's been just been a great little tool to have in the shop and it's been able to produce some good products for us. So look forward to see what we can make going forward and see what else Xtool puts out. One thing I will mention is we're not only do we want the air assist, uh, I think that will definitely help with the cutting, but I, as you can see from the mat right now, I have had a few cuts that have burnt through and actually into my mat, which is fine. That's what we bought the mat for. But I would suggest, and I might try to pick up myself, the X-Tool honeycomb mat for cutting. Uh, just gives your project a nice level surface, lifts it up and lets the airflow below it. So once the laser does start to cut through, the fumes can kind of go out through the bottom and hopefully that will also make cutting and the overall quality of the, the product a little bit better. So we're going to look in to see if we can get one of those and do a few test trials with that to see if it makes any difference as well. But that's it so far, guys. It's been one month. I really don't have anything bad to say about the, uh, the, the D110 Watt. It's been running great. And so if we, uh, we find any issues, we'll definitely let you know. But for now, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.